This video will be an overview of the dimensioning tools and the setup that we have for dimensioning here at MoDOT. We utilize dimension styles here at MoDOT to control how our dimensioning will be placed on the sheet. The easiest way to get to your dimensioning and get to that particular style is to go through the task and I will go to the one that says MoDOT Design CAD Standards and underneath General Annotation I'll expand it out and there's three down below here that says dimension small, medium, and large. Depending on what type of dimension that you'll do, you would select that particular type of dimension. And what that will do is it'll load up a dimension style number one, but also number two it'll bring up the dimensioning tool of what it thinks it should load up. Now you can change your dimensioning to something else if you wish to do that, but the most important thing here is it loads up that dimension style so it has all those predefined settings that dimensioning should look like here at MoDOT. So if I select it, dimension small, number one, it loads up the particular tool, which is the element dimensioning tool. It loads up the dimension style, which is this one here. And three, if you look here at the top, it sets up your attributes for dimensioning, the correct level, color, style, and weight. So now you can come in here, dimension the thing like you need to, and go on with it. Now, you can come over here and to get to your dimensioning tools, if you go to the main MoDOT toolbar, it's these set of tools right here that says Dimension, MoDOT Dimension Element. And you'll have a set of tools that you can use for dimensioning. So, let's say instead of doing Dimension Element, I want to do Dimension Angular. I could select that, but we still have our predefined settings for dimensioning set up here at the top to the MoDOT standards. So that's probably the easiest way to get dimensioning set up because if you don't you may have problems getting the correct size of your arrowheads, your extension lines, your dimension lines and stuff like that. It's easiest to just go through the task, load up that style and you're off and running. Now one common question that we get is maybe I want to change my dimension style to something else. Maybe instead of let's say I want to change my dimension style from you know, filled arrowheads to open arrowheads, or if I want to put, you know, text below the dimension line for some reason. You know, you can do that. There's ways of, tw of tweaking that. And to tweak that, what you do is click on this Browse button, and you'll see that the dimension style that we have set up right now is dimension small. So, and you have a bunch of different tabs over to the side here, which I'll just briefly kind of go over, and then you can work with this at your own leisure depending on what type of dimension that you're wanting to do but in here you can change these particular options to do whatever you wish it needs to do so let's say instead of filled arrowheads I want to do open arrowhead for some reason you'll notice whenever you do that whenever you change it those will become blue which means that it's kind of deviated from the dimension style not a big deal or maybe something else that I want to change. Maybe if I go to units, I want to show my secondary units. So I'll have dimensioning on top of my dimension line, but also I'll have text below my dimension line. Just a couple things that I changed there. Um, you could change some other stuff, maybe like your angle format. Maybe I don't want that to be an angle. I maybe I want to change that to length. You know, there's a lot of stuff that you can change inside here. So now if I come out here and dimension something, and I will change it back to maybe dimension element and I'll just select this element right here and I'll pull it out and I'll dimension it you notice if I zoom into it we see that we have open arrowheads and then also text above and below my dimension line so you can tweak your dimensioning depending on how you want to do it now that style will stay the way you have it if you come in here and change it to some other dimension tool it'll stay locked to that particular setting that you have or your dimension style. If you do go back to your task though and select small dimension what it's going to do is revert it back to the MoDOT default for dimension small. So now if I come out here and dimension that same element you'll see that my dimension is a little bit different now. So just kind of keep that in mind. If you change something in your dimension style to do what you wish it needs to do and you keep using your dimension tools to the side here it's going to stay to those settings. If you go back to the task and select one of these three options it reverts it back to the MoDOT standards for dimensioning 
whenever you try to dimension something out there. So that's just kind of a brief overview of dimensioning, how it's kind of set up here at MoDOT, and with the other videos we have, it'll actually show you how to use each one of the tools and some different settings with those. Another thing with dimensioning that I need to mention is our dimension is set to be annotative driven. So whenever you dimension something, we see that we have our annotation scale here set to 1 to 50, which maps, matches our border. If I change my annotation scale to something different, you'll see that it will get smaller. So dimension is annotative driven according to whatever annotation scale that you have set with the file. So that's an overview of dimensioning and how it's kind of set up here at MoDOT.